Good morning, and here is, uh, I told you I would pull the uh, the idle speed control. This is the original one. And uh, here is the code date, week eight of 1989. And we have three capacitors. And then this is the microcontroller, what they did here. Let me see if I can zoom in so you can take a look at this. This was the, uh, back then, the ASIC type applications. Week 789, you can see the stamp. It all looks good. There's probably some capacitors on there, but they will be almost impossible to exchange if they go out. So we're gonna replace these three capacitors. I will test them real quick, then you can take a look at this. The first one down here next to the transistors is a 2.250. Then we have the one here in the middle is a 22. And this one here, we don't know until we desolder it. We can't read it. Probably the same. They're probably going to be about the same size. And they stabilize signals, output signals, input signals, and so far and so on. Let's take a look at this here. The first one is the 2.2. Let me zoom out. And you can see this, the plus sign. Oops. Oops, we're not having a good contact here. So for 2.2, we're already in the suspect range. And then we have a capacitor here. This one here. And this is the 22, is almost bad. Oops. Go back in here. 22 one is bad. The reason why this is dropping is because I'm not making a good contact here with my holder. And the other 22 is suspect as well. If it is larger, then it's going to be bad too. Now, let me just clarify one thing. This doesn't mean if we change these three capacitors that the uh, engine is suddenly going to perform like it had 600 horsepower or something like this. But it is, these things are starting to fail and there's one thing to another, to another, to another. And eventually you will see that the, um, that this has to be repaired because these capacitors, when they fail, will take down this unit and then you have no more idle speed. So I'm gonna put this in before I'm gonna do the ECU unit and see where we're gonna go, how this changes the idle, if it has any impact on the idle. And then we will see the other thing that I found more or less by accident yesterday was I have a dead spot on my airflow potentiometer. The little thing which sits on the side, when you depress it to a certain position, it suddenly goes up from, from two kilo ohms to eight kilo ohms. It goes smooth uh, the way it says in the manual, but then there's one spot in there where the meter just spikes. So it looks like that thing is bad as well. So, but this hooks actually up to the ECU and should not have a big impact on idle speed. We will see. Okay, I will keep you guys posted.